This presentation will show you how to create a cut contour path in Corel Draw for use with RIPs such as VersaWorks, ErgoSoft Poster Print, uh, PhotoPrint, Onyx, and others. We're using Corel Draw version 14, but these will work. Uh, this process will work for version 12 and 13 as well. The first thing that we need to do is to make sure that we've turned on hidden files and folders. So to do that, go to Start then go to computer, go to the tools menu, go to folder options, go to the view tab and click show hidden files and folders. Click apply and then OK. Go back into Corel and you'll notice that above the color palette there is a small black arrow. Click on that and go to palette and choose open. Now what we need to do now is to open up the user customized color palette. And to do that we need to find where that file is. Now I'm going to show you where it is in Windows Vista. It may be somewhere similar for XP and Windows 7. Go to the user folder, in this case Philip Trumbull. Go to the app data folder. Now app data won't show if we have hidden files uh, turned off. So that's why we had to turn on the hidden folders. So if you can't see that, you'll need to go back to the start and follow those steps again. App data. Now, because I'm on a domain, um, I'm going to be find the files under roaming. But if you're not on a domain, and probably most won't be, you need to go to the local folder. So in this case, we're going to go to roaming. Corel. Go to the Corel Graphics Suite X4 or 12 or X3, depending on your version. Go to User Custom Data, go to Palettes, and then you'll see the UserInks.cpl. You can see that in here, if I drop that down, you'll see the path that we've followed to get to Palettes. Now if you can't find the UserInks.cpl folder, if it's not here, the other option that you have is to go to the Start menu and go to the Search button and actually search for userinks.cpl and let, this, let Windows find the file for you. Once you know where that file is, then you can come back into Corel and browse through the folders till you find the path. So open up the userinks.cpl and you'll see now over here next to your color palette you'll get a new palette which is your userinks palette. If we click the little arrow above that we can go to edit and we can go to palette editor and in palette editor click on add color. Go over to the mixes and this is where we're going to choose what color we want this to be. Now it can be any color at all that you like but in most cases um, we use 100% magenta. The reason is because it's not a color that's often used it's very easy to disting distinguish from the rest of your design. So 100% magenta or whatever color you prefer and click add to palette. Click close and you'll see now that the color has been added. You click on the color, the color name is magenta, we need to change that to cut contour, but you need to spell it exactly as I spell it here. Capital C U T, capital C O N T O U R. Cut contour. Make sure that the capitals are in the correct place, then click OK. If you move your mouse over the color, you should see that it will pop up with cut contour. Now to use cut contour, to make a cutting line is very simple. Just take any object you like, for example in this case we'll type in some text, make it any color you like, and then right click on the cut contour to create a stroke around the object you want to cut. In this case it will print the red and then cut those letters out. You can also use this um, when you're not going to put a fill. If you left click on the X, there'll be no fill, and now it's only going to cut. So for example, if you had something like this, you may just want to get some text. And cut it out in a box. In that case, just right click on the cut contour color. And you've now got a cut line and a print line. And that's as simple as it is.